Hello and welcome to your very first piano lesson. So today I'm gonna teach you how to play the piano. And I'm gonna assume that you've never touched a piano before, that this is your first experience at this instrument. We are not gonna be diving into any crazy theory concepts. We're not gonna be spending all our time playing boring scales. We're gonna learn how to play some chords so that you can put them together and actually get a feel for what it's like to play songs. So let's dive in. So the first thing you need to do is get seated comfortably at your piano. So my feet are flat on the floor. I'm sitting nice and tall, I'm relaxed, and I'm about, I don't know, this far. <laughs> this far from the, key, from the back of my piano. You basically wanna have the tops of your knees so they're just underneath this bottom part of your keyboard or piano. Now once you're there, uh, you're going to take a look and you're going to notice that you've got white keys and black keys, obviously. And we're going to actually use these black keys to help us navigate this keyboard. So I want you to notice we've got groups. We've got a group of two black keys. We've got a group of three. And you can play along with me if you like. Two black keys, three black keys. And you can just go all the way up the piano. This is a really great way just to get used to touching the keys, how hard you have to push to get a sound out of them. And as a beginner, even this little activity can be quite challenging. But pay attention to those groupings because it will help you to know where everything is on the keyboard. So once you've had a look at that, we're gonna use those black keys to help us figure out the key names. Now the most important note for a beginner is middle C. Middle C lives below this group of two nearest to the middle of your piano. So if you find a group of two black keys and move down from that bottom one, you're gonna find C. And middle C, I mean, it's nearest to the middle of your piano, but you can also look forward. Most pianos have like their brand name right near the center. So here we've got Roland, and here we've got our closest group of two to that, and then boom, there is middle C. So musical alphabet is a little bit different than the normal alphabet. It goes from A, we're gonna start on C, C, D, E, F, G, and then we do not have an H. From G we move to A, and then we go to B, and then check this out, C, We've, we've got another C and it's, it's lining up perfectly with this little group of two black keys. So now you know how the musical alphabet works and you know how to find middle C. And it takes some practice to get really confident with the musical alphabet and finding the location of all the keys. And you can spend some time um, playing through them, you know, find and play all the C's. Find and play all the D's, right? D's after C. Another cool thing you can do is use your group of three black keys to help you locate F because F is at the base of this grouping of three, just like C is at the bottom of this grouping of two. So you could find a group of three, F, group of three, F. And you can just get comfortable with your keyboard, figuring out where all the keys are, what their names are. And when you're ready, take your right hand, take your thumb, which we call our one finger, and place it on middle C. So now that it's on middle C, I want you to notice my hand posture. My wrist isn't down here. It's nicely lifted, and I'm placing one of my fingers over each of the white keys um, that it naturally falls on when I place all five fingers like this. So the first thing is we're gonna just start pressing down these keys and seeing how it feels. And as a beginner, just pushing down the keys and maintaining this posture can be very difficult. Your fingers might want to do all kinds of crazy things, like your fingers might fly up if you're tense. Um, two fingers might try to press down at one time, like this. And that's totally normal. Don't worry about it. The main thing is that you get your hand in position, there's our C, and you push straight down. And relax. Next note, relax. Next note, relax. And you're playing what I call a five note scale. And trust me, all of this will come in super handy in just a few minutes when we go to build our chords. It's a really great idea to also practice this with your left hand. And I want you to notice I've got my thumb of the right hand on middle C. I'm gonna take my five finger of my left hand and place it on the C below that. So here's my group of two. And there's C. And again, I'm going to line each of my fingers up with a key. 
I'm going to go slow, just pushing straight down. And <clears throat> that four and five finger can be really difficult. This is where most people have the, the most trouble, so don't worry about it. And when you're ready, you could even try playing both hands at the same time. So you can play this along with me. You can pause the video if you would like a little bit more time to just take a few minutes to get used to how this feels. For some, it'll come together really quickly and for others, it can take a while and that's totally okay. You're asking a lot of your brain and your body just to play this five note scale. So this is where the fun part comes in. We're going to build a chord. And I'm gonna show you really quickly the end result where you're gonna land when you're done this so that you can stay super motivated. But essentially, you'll be doing something like this. So that's pretty good. And you will be able to do that. So let's, let's figure out what I just did so you can do it too and you can start playing songs. So let's take our thumb and we'll place it back on C, just like we did before, each finger's falling on top of a note. And we're gonna press down the bottom note, C, and the top note, which is G. And to begin, just get comfortable here. And these fingers might wanna push down, that's normal. And if you're trying really hard to prevent that from happening, they might fly up, <laughs> that's okay too. So just get comfortable here for now. So we are gonna call this a C chord. Now, you can add the middle note if you would like, C, E, G, but this can be challenging for a beginner. So this is a great thing to practice. You don't want these to be held tense. You want them just to be relaxed. You're just gently pressing the one, the three, and the five. But if that's not feeling great for you today, get rid of that center note and just play the outer notes. So we've got that on C. Now I want you to move your whole hand so that your thumb lands on G. So you can count up C, D, E, F, G, or you can use that grouping of three black keys because you know this is F and G is right after. So you're gonna get four of these. And then you're gonna go to G for four. And then you're gonna go one more up. And remember there's no H, so after G we have A. And then we're gonna go to F, which we skip G and come down to F, which is here. Remember, group of three. And when you're ready, match with your left hand. So your left hand's gonna play the same note that your thumb is playing. So I'm gonna play four of these and I'm gonna hold the C. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna move up to G. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna move up to A. Two, three, four, and then F. And I'm gonna repeat this so you can try playing along with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, up to G. Two, three, four, up to A. Two, three, four, and then down to F. Two, three, four. Now, your brain might be thinking at this point, that sounds familiar. And that's because those four chords are basically used in every pop song ever. So you might be thinking, Going under and this time I feel there's no one under. I can't sing that low. <laughs> but write someone you loved. Or maybe, um, When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. So that's just two songs, but there are thousands, if not more than thousands of songs that use the same four chords, basically all popular music. So it's an incredibly exciting moment when you sit down at the piano for the first time and you realize that you can build a chord because chords are really truly the gateway to playing the songs and the music that you love. It's the perfect first step. And this is just the beginning because you don't have to play the chords in that order. You can mix and match them. You could go from the A one, it's technically called A minor to F, and then to C, this is like every Coldplay song ever. <laughs> if you want a more emotional sound, you can start on the F, G, and you can begin to play with different combinations and rhythms and have some fun. So there's your first piano lesson. You've learned all the key names, 
take some time to memorize where everything is. It's okay. You've learned how to play a five note scale and you've learned how to build a chord and play a chord progression. So that's a lot of information. It's going to take some time to get really comfortable and confident and settled into all of these ideas. Um, but you can have so much fun as you just explore and see what you can create as you play the piano. And like I said, this is just the beginning. There's so much more you can do with all of these concepts. Um, we release free videos to help you learn more every single week, twice a week. And if you subscribe, it helps us out and then we get to help you. So don't forget to hit subscribe below, comment because I always love to hear from you and have fun playing.